Everything in the exhibition is somehow connected to the family. From incredibly grand dresses that have been worn to coronations to Stella Tennant's nose ring. There's so much of Chatsworth in the exhibition. It really tells the story of the family living in this lovely house. What's fabulous when you walk into the Painted Hall is that you're hit immediately by the luxury of, of the textiles in those coronation robes, juxtaposed with the unraveled edges of the McQueen. I wore the Alexander McQueen dress on the first shoot that I ever did. I didn't realise it at the time how important those young designers were. Stella's punk dress is perfectly placed because it's saying right from the get-go, this isn't just about coronation robes and liveries. The coronation robes were worn at three successive coronations. And the thing that struck me, first of all, is the ermine. You can see that there are four rows of these tiny black spots. Depending on what station, what rank you are, determines how many rows of spots you have. The Devonshire coronet, uh, it is an amazing piece of jewellery. It is really a way to give an impression of your status, of your position in society, of your function. I think it's 1,900 diamonds sparkling on your head. The jumpers of the 11th Duke I think are extraordinary. I had no idea there were so many. I think all passion spent is quite good. It always makes me laugh. <laughs> anyway, some of them are quite rude. He was rather eccentric. This was an extraordinary thing to do. Deborah Debo had a kind of quintessentially British approach to fashion. Her wardrobe is this remarkable mix of clothes that she bought at agricultural fairs and uh, wonderful mid-century Christian Dior haute couture ball gowns. My grandmother was definitely an original and she just did things the way she wanted. She absolutely had a sense of her own style. We found a number of the dowager's possessions that have made us laugh quite a lot. The Elvis slippers, the rubber chicken handbag. I love this idea that you have a wardrobe that has some of the most remarkable, luxurious haute couture creations and then a rubber chicken bag and an Elvis slipper. Chatsworth, everyone imagines it to be the most conservative, most traditional sort of place. But I think that each incumbent of the house has made it their own. And so in that sense, there's always a change, which is a step away from the generation before.